What's up guys, Nate Petroski from Narrowway Homestead. I've got a video for you today on garage roofing and the metal and some underlayment and all kinds of stuff. Look at that guys, that is so cool. One of the things I know you guys are going to love, and I did a metal roof over on There's a Way Homestead, and you guys, well, maybe not you guys, but some, some people on the internet were very upset that I didn't put all the screws in a nice row and pre-drill the metal and all that stuff. So in this one, I made sure that that's what happened. However, there's absolutely nowhere I can stand where you guys can see the screws so I can show you guys how in a line they are. I actually don't know if they're in a line or not because I haven't been up the end with a metal to sight it with a ladder, with a metal. What am I talking about? Anyway, let's check out some of the clips, including drilling the metal. You got to do that. What's you the truth? clear it out. Oh. It's all getting built up between the sheets and it causes a lot of pressure on that bit. Well, I have to drill it too. Anytime you drill through sheets like that, you gotta clear them out. That makes sense. I've done a lot of drilling. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt that. <laughs> I got it back on and just twisted it off again. Now it's stuck in there. Yeah, I think, I think they're still on. I think they're low quality bids. Maybe if I didn't have this big drill on it, it would help. Too. That's why when I see tools that are on sale or discounted, I run. Because normally there's a reason. Yeah. <laughs> You're making that one work though. As long as you baby it. Yep, you just gotta be careful with them. Side pressure ain't helping either. No. Which I'm sure that's probably what got him. He's just had it leaning a little too much. Sure. I can't believe that didn't break it off when you pulled on it like that. That's because I'm pulling straight. <laughs> I mean, I had a big had, drill. If you only had any idea how many thousands of holes I've drilled. Oh, I know. It makes a difference. What's the brand? What are these? I don't even, I don't even know. Drill America? That's, that makes it look. I think if they have to put America in the name, that's probably not made in America for one. Probably not. The best drill bits I've found are called brute bits. Brute. 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 They are not cheap, but they're really, really good. Oh. The only reason we found out is because the boss was uh, busy and couldn't go get us some bits, so he sent our service truck guy to go get them. <laughs> and he's like, I look for the most expensive ones I can find, <laughs> and this is it. Oh, that's hilarious. They were getting like, we were doing floors on a trailer. Were you doing the flooring? That's a lot of holes. Yeah. On a 53 footer. They were getting going through like 10 or 15 bits on one floor. And I bought had him get them brute bits. One bit do the whole floor. Wow. No issues. Nice. I used to have bits last me for years. Like even an eighth inch bit. Yeah. Getting it every day lasts me for years, but I paid paid like crazy for it. I had a guy call me on my uh, on, on like a you know scam call type of thing. Yeah. And he he wanted to sell me some tools, but it was all free and all free and all free until if I decided I wanted to keep it, it was eight hundred some dollars for some bits. Yeah. I'm like, I don't, I don't do anything. I need bits for like that. Right. <laughs> well, that's cool. I like watching experience. It's making them junk bits just go. I gave up, but I can't believe that thing hasn't broke because you're twisting a lot more than I did by trying to pull them out. I don't know what to tell you, Bob. I think I got to do the worst bit. I don't know. You just got the only good bit in the package, right? I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought you had me, didn't you? I thought I did. That's wow. Crazy. One of these I knew they don't lock very good. Yeah. I might have hit it too with my fingers, I don't know. 
All I know is I go get the first two holes and throw two bits in and I'm done. <laughs> if something goes wrong for me twice, I quit. You quit, yeah. I've had too many bad experiences by going on. I just keep going. <laughs> I keep going too if I didn't break it. <laughs> Cause I'd break them all if, if, I, if I do two and I keep going. I'd break them all. <laughs> when I have my business, when I have my business, if two things went wrong in a day, we'd pack up and go home. Pack up and go home. I've had it too many times. Where like it that was, guy I told you guys about that fell off the roof twice in one day and then just went home and never got back up. <laughs> he just left. He probably quit construction for good. Probably should if you fall off the roof twice. <laughs> bringing a chalk line. <laughs> just walking off the end of the roof twice in a row. Better go home and get some sleep or something. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how you a lot of times do. Is you snap a line and something. It's pretty handy, isn't it? Getting a system together. I'm trying to. This is really sketchy without bending them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll film the first ones because they're the worst ones you'll do. <laughs> I'll just lay down. I got one right here. You know, you don't like mine? You're going to need it. Okay. There's one. What do I need? Over there. Uh, it's down below somewhere. They're going to need a rod somewhere. That man needs to stick to it. Yeah. Give me a stretch. 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 Two foot, o two inch overlap. Thing is what he's shooting for. By now, you pretty much know the gist of how this all goes. Now it just has to be repeated over and over and over again. It is possible to do a metal roof yourself, but it is far more efficient to have a lot of help. There's a lot less setup involved. While all this building was going on, Az was having fun hanging out with the workers, and he recently made a new friend with one of the workers' wives. It's a family-friendly homestead and a family-friendly job site. Just like that, half of the roof is finished. Now we're on to the front half, and all the jokes can begin about the roof not holding water, and I hope the roof does not hold water. And if you're wondering if I plan for rainwater collection off of this eventually, yes I do. That's it guys, the metal is on. Next up we gotta sheet the ends, install some windows, obviously we gotta do the house wrap, and then there's gonna be metal for the sides. I feel like I didn't get enough information um, about the underlayment, but I am gonna show you guys up close here. Kinda looks like a house wrap on this side. This side is a foil, the foil is up against the roofing. I don't think the foil really does a lot of good because it protects against like radiant heat, but I think it would only work if there was a space between the metal and the foil. But let me know what you guys think. Also up here in the room, you guys can see how absolutely massive it looks now. Well, at least I think you can. It looks kind of cool with that white up there. But the plan is to insulate. Something else that uh, was being talked about was collar ties up here. Um, nobody, uh, here building this thinks they're necessary i mean they've been up there and jumping around and stuff it's got all the support from these walls over here um, it just feels like a really really solid roof all their cuts are 
All their cuts are good. Everything's tight. I'm definitely going to put something up there, but kind of a cathedral ceiling up here just because why not it would be sort of cool. So that's what I'm thinking. As always, let me know your opinions in the comments and thanks for watching. There should be one more video, one more long video on this garage. Maybe two, I might be able to do two, but I might just squeeze the rest in one. I mean, there's really not that much more to do other than some windows, some sheeting, metal on the outside and the garage door installation. And then that's, that's it for, for them. There'll definitely be more videos and content, but it's gonna be me from here on out. I'll do any wiring, insulating, plumbing, anything of that nature. So there'll be endless garage content, no doubt about it, but this thing is huge. I'm excited to have it. Honestly, it's more of a, uh, with what I'm planning to do, it's gonna be more of a business warehouse than it is a, a personal garage, just the way things work out. But that's okay. I'm good with that. Thanks for watching. With the beard and the vision, they narrate his life. Cutting fire with training beasts away from city strife. The ducks they roam freely acquired on me true. Lost coffees in the meadow for